I'm Rhoda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some supersets for you where we'll be doing strength supersets, but at the end of each superset, we're going to add a little cardio bonus. We'll have a hit cardio round, low impact, so this protects your joints. We're going to build lean muscle, burn fat, and have some fun. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's get you warmed up for these supersets. Supersets is when you take two exercises and you rotate back and forth. We're going to do it twice. Put your knees up and twist here. Pull your tummy tight. So we'll do the first exercise for 30 seconds, and then we'll do a second exercise for 30, and then we go through them again, arms forward and back. On the second round, we're going to bump the time up to 40 seconds each. So the first round, you get a chance to really feel how the move feels on your muscles. Reach out. You can evaluate the weight you're using. Is it too light? Was it super easy? Or was 30 seconds hard? If 30 seconds was hard, you may want to lighten your weight a little bit for your 40 second round. I want you to start focusing, tap out and in, on how your muscles feel after you complete a segment. So after the 30 seconds, was it hard or easy? The goal is for it to be hard, okay? When you're getting near the end of an exercise, you should struggle a little bit. That means the muscles are changing. That's how you get that look you want and boost your metabolism. So we'll talk about that more as we get started here. I'm going to start with a medium set of dumbbells. And like you say, I'll see if uh, after 30 seconds, maybe next time I need to go with a lighter weight. We're going to raise this up in a V, do a press, and back down. Here we go. Raise the weight. Don't use momentum. Do your press. Slowly lower. So you're not going like that. All right. I want you to raise it. Make the front of the shoulders and the arms, top of the chest, do the work in that raise. Slowly lower. Bring it up. And this is hard for me. So I have to kind of evaluate. Do I want to go lighter for the 40 second round? Get some time to think about that. I think I'll try and stick with my medium weights there. I'm going to pick up some heavier weights for side lunges. Just holding this weight down or weighing down this move. We'll step out to your right first in a side lunge. I want you to go nice and deep if you can. If you need to modify for knees, you're coming over and up. Hinging at the waist, flat back. If you're doing that modification, if you're doing the deep lunge, you're driving those hips back so your weight is in the back of your body and in your heels. These are short little rounds here, first time through. I'm going to do the other side, keep it balanced, and I'm going to challenge myself with this medium weight, because it was a challenge at 30 seconds, and the second round at 40, I should be, at the end of it, starting to feel like I can't do another one. That's where I want you. Ready? Here we go. Raise it up. V press. Slowly lower. Now, hold your abs and core tight. It's a weight belt for you, supports the move, even though it is an upper, upper body move here. We're halfway through. I felt myself throw a little momentum in there, so I'm going to watch that. This is a lift, ooh, and a press. Ten more seconds, I can do a couple more, and that's about it. And that's what we want. That's where the magic happens. That's where we make whew, the change. Good. All right. Back to those side lunges. Keeping my head above my heart as I put this weight down and pick it up. Heart rate does go up as we do strength work. Step side to side to your right first. Here we go. Your muscles want, their preferred fuel is oxygen. So that's what they want. So they're asking your heart to deliver that oxygen. So the heart has to work a little harder. Heart rate goes up. Respiration goes up because the heart is asking for that oxygen from the lungs. And you get an overall cardio burn while you're doing strength work. Strength work increases metabolism because 
lean muscle requires three times as many calories to exist on your body than fat does. So as we convert fat to lean muscle, that change alone is going to allow you to eat more, which is fun, and just look better. All right, duck under and punch. We've got our cardio round. We'll go to your right first. Ready? Duck under and punch. Under, punch. Under, punch. I'm squatting, coming up, or you can hinge. Just keep your head above your heart. When you get down with the squat, do it. The more muscles we move, the higher the heart rate goes. These little cardio burns at the end of each round of the superset. I thought that would be fun. Hopefully you think it's fun too. And rest, okay. 30 second rest. I'm gonna go with my heavy weights for this next upper body move in 30 seconds. Then I'll see if I need to lower it. We're gonna do a back row, and from there, a fly. Arms come out to the side. So row, fly. Go on heavy. My head above my heart as I pick up my weight. Let's come down, weight is in your heels. Knees are slightly bent, back is flat. Here we go, row it, out to the side. Pull tight, fly to the side, pull. Elbows leads to the ceiling in this fly, okay? Think about a little bend in the arms. You're squeezing between the shoulder blades. Hold your tummy tight, that's gonna help. And this is getting hard. The fly is the hard part on that because I'm going to stay with this weight because the weight's far away from your body. It creates what we call a longer lever. Right, we are going into a deadlift, but I want you to reach opposite hand to foot. Okay, here we go. Right arm first, down and across. Come up, other side. You just bring the other weight back to the side of the leg if that feels right. Whatever feels right to you. Remember, deadlift form. Back is flat. Slight bend in those knees, weight in the heels. This one I will have no problem. Going for 40 seconds. And rest for 15. I am going to lighten my weight for this longer endurance round of the rows and flies. Now I could do the heavy weight with the rows, you probably could too, but you need to think about the fly. Ready? Pull. Fly. Compound move of the back. Here we're doing two moves on the same and some different muscles in the back. And the fly is the harder of the two moves as far as how much weight you can hold. So using the fly's gauge, I went a little lighter here. And I'm glad I did because <laughs> we have 10 more seconds. I don't think I'd be so going with those belts. And rest. Excellent. On to our party front weight. What do we got? Exercise four. Sorry. Now lift to opposite foot. I was ready to jump into that cardio. Not quite yet. All right. Deadlift, opposite foot with the weight. Happen to be recording this video the Monday after Thanksgiving here in the United States. We're all feeling a little inflated here with having a holiday weekend. Time to get back to work. Me too. People think this is easy for me. Sometimes maybe, I mean, I don't hate exercise, but when you have a break like that, it really can be hard to jump back into it, even if it's something you regularly do. All right, good. Now we get to that cardio. The key is that you got to jump into it. You're going to do an elbow move. So elbow, elbow, punch, punch, elbow, elbow, punch, punch, right elbow, go. Elbow, elbow, punch, punch it, go. Power, 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 power. Abs are tight. What's going on here? Feel that upper back working. Different 
way to attack those muscles. You just worked. Bonus is getting blood flowing to them. Helps them heal. So if you are struggling with that weight and doing some damage to that muscle, which is the goal of strength training, this cardio is going to help it heal. So double, double point there, double fat burn, but also helping in the healing process. All right. Heavy weight for this first one. Gonna hold the weight behind your head. Your elbows are out. Toes are facing forward. Okay. Gonna hinge forward like a deadlift. Halfway down. Come on up. Once you're up here, you're gonna lean to one side. And then we'll do the good morning. Down, up, lean the other side. Ready? Hinge forward. Knees are slightly bent here. To your right, lean. Bring it up. Hinge forward. To your left, lean, come up, drive those hips back, weight in the heels, pull the belly button to the spine, right here, make the core work, getting lower back, and back of the legs, and total core here as well, and rest that one, and I am going a little lighter for this next one, it's a halo to a bicycle, halo is when you take the weight, Wrap it around your head. Once you're here, we're going to crunch across the opposite knee. So, over your right shoulder, left knee crunch. Over your left shoulder, right knee crunch. See how that works? So, once you crunch it, you're going back over the shoulder of the leg you crunched. I'm bringing it across a little bit. A little bit of lower oblique action there. Working lower abs. We all want to do that. It's Especially after a holiday weekend. Can't spot reduce, right? But that tends to be the area where we hold that inflammation from eating maybe some sugar, maybe processed foods. And behind your head, elbows out. So the key is lots of water to help flush it out and get moving again. Hinge forward, lean, bring it up, other side. Lean it up. Now this is our 40-second round. Focus on your form. Elbows are out. That makes more weight in the upper body. And over. Keep going. Feel it? I hope so. These longer rounds. It's 10 seconds more. It sure feels like more though, doesn't it? It's longer. 30 seconds goes quick and good. All right, on to that halo. Starting over your right shoulder, left knee crunch, left shoulder, right knee crunch. Deep breath, getting lots of core on this one. Some lower abs, here we go. Up and around, crunch it. Left shoulder, right crunch. This is a little tricky, I know. Try not to overthink it. Follow me. I'm trying not to overthink it so I don't lead you down the wrong path. I'll make sure I get the correct knee up. I just think about where I need to go with my halo next to go opposite what I just did. And that really sets me up for proper direction. And we're going to get our final crunch here. Crunch it. Rest. Good. All right, time for your cardio. Because of all that back of the body work, we're gonna punch and kick to the front. Opposite hand to foot. Go we'll punch with your right arm first to your left foot kick. Ready? Oh no, here we go. Punch it. Feel that back of the leg kind of stretch. Get that blood flow into it. Abs are tight. Come on. Put some power on these moves. Not me, a lot of boxing shows up. I like the power precision moves more than the dancing moves. So if that's your thing, subscribe to my channel because we don't do a lot of dancing around here. That would be hilarious. You'd be laughing at me. I would be laughing at myself. But let's just let's just keep it more power type moves for our cardio. Okay, I'm going to a high bicycle. I am using a lightweight here. Even the lightweight's gonna be tough on my 40 second round. Palms are up here. You're curling your shoulder while the arm stays up and out. Ready? 
deep breath. Lighten the weight. You can even go no weight with this. If you're just starting out and this weight gets too heavy, put it down. Do this move without the weight because these long levers, the arms, are being pulled on by gravity. So it's not just the weight that's being pulled. Your entire arm is being pulled. So that increases how much weight you're actually curling here and how much work you're actually doing. Feel it? Whew. Feel it. And rest. And one heavy weight. If you are using one set of weights and things are seeming easy, why don't you think about getting uh, another set of weights? Hold this goblet squat to a twist or just a twist. So it's squat, twist your right. Squat, twist left. Or twist right. Twist left. You can double up the speed with your twists. Do that if you're taking the squats out. But if you're going nice and slow and controlled, and you're focusing on proper form, slow and controlled is just fine. It's actually better than going so fast that you're not controlling the move. So what do I mean by that? Twist, 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 all right? Twist and squeeze, twist and squeeze, twist and squeeze. And that's how I want you to be, controlled. High bicep curl. I hope that made sense. Here we go, we're gonna do it. If you ever need to go slower than I am going to keep your form, that is encouraged. If you're doing a modification and you feel like you can do more than one like, twist while we're doing a squat and twist, speed it up to whatever feels like you are in control of the move, but you're getting the work. The work is in the glute on that one and or core is hard. I have a staggered stance right now. You'll see me like that or like this. Doesn't matter which foot is forward. Whatever feels like a solid base for you, that's what you want to do. All right. Up to the twist, twist, nice and slow twist, twist, or add the squat. Here we go. Down, come up with a twist. Take it down, twist. go halfway through this one 40 seconds getting your work feeling the burn and rest good job cardio move one of my favorites i like this one up and over we're gonna go up to your right first up and over tap up and over tap you can a little running in this if you'd like. I'm going to keep it low impact right now. Up and over, tap, up and over, tap. I'm going to move, holding my abs tight. We're looking at inner obliques here. That's your waistline. Well, let's do it. While we get our cardio. Arms up over your head. Even though we're not jumping around, that's going to increase your heart rate because blood's pumping up. Pumping against gravity. Gravity is your friend. And the rest. All right. Are you ready to use your chair? Ready or not, we're going to do some dips with the tricep. Let me show you your options. If you are just starting out, you're going to slide your bum off the chair. Down, push up your body weight. Take a seat. Slide off. Down, up. Take a seat or do as many as you can and then go to your seat. If you are in a more advanced state at this point, you've been working out a while, you can do it here. Make this harder. Bring the feet out. Keep talking about levers. Here again, gravity is pulling right here on your feet and the back of your upper legs. Right here, we're pulling on the heels calves, back of the knees, and the back of the legs. That's how it becomes harder. <laughs> up. 
Wow. All right, and bench time as well. So I'm going to grab my bench. If you have a bench, awesome. If you don't, it's okay. I'm going to do rear lunges off the back of the bench. So, come with me. Ready? Rear lunge, come up. If you're not using a bench and you need to modify, here is your move. All right. Otherwise, do your lunges on the floor. If you have a bench, it just adds a step up element right here where you're stepping up. Hope I'm not so far forward, I'm cutting my head off. But you can see the important part, which is how the legs are working. Great job. Okay, putting my weight down, and I will put medium weight there. I think next time I'm going to try a heavier weight. And I'm going back to these dips. Now this is 40 seconds. I'm going to bring my feet in a little bit. I'm not bringing them all the way under. I'm going to put them right about there. So in between, right here and here. So I'm getting a little longer lever, but I'm going to be able to last for the 40 seconds. At least I hope I'm going to last for 40 seconds. These are hard. These are at the back of your arms. Small, small scoop of the body. Triceps, we want to work them, I know. And this is a great way to do it, but it is hard. And if you're scooting up onto the chair between reps or between two or three reps, that is absolutely fine. This is an advanced move. And then you're rested. Good. All right, back to our rear lunges. You can take just about anything and make it harder with weight or gravity levers or easier. For people that are just starting out, I want you to do the work. But I also wanted you to feel like you can get through. And I promise you, I could never have done those dips like I just did for 40 seconds 20 years ago when I started exercising regularly. I was gassed. Like, things really, really took their toll. But I stuck with it. And then the rest is kind of history. Changed my career at 40. I'm a group exercise instructor and a personal trainer. And so, it's never too late to add exercise in your life, whether it's at 30, 40, 50, 60. I hear, move this, and I'm going to a skater. One of my favorites. Just swing your arms. Ready? To your right. One of my favorite things to do is hear from you in the comment area. I hear from women in their 60s and 70s that are going strong. And that motivates me to keep working with you and get us all to where our future selves are going to love us and thank us for the hard work. And the hard work doesn't end. You've got to find the time each day for you. Whether it's a rest day and you need that rest time, or it's an exercise day, strength, cardio, strength and cardio, whatever it is, carve out the time. I have 10, 15, 20 minute and 30 minute workouts on this channel. You can find something, okay? Let's go to your mat. I'm gonna grab medium weights. And my others is spare. One down, raise up. Here we go. I had to throw an edit in there. I hope it's not going to be too difficult to edit. So you're going out to the side, overhead, pulling up, hips up, palms together as the hips come down. We out, overhead. It's a tough pull right there. And down. Out, overhead. Pull it up. And down. Good. Keep going. Come on. This is a tough one. I'm probably going to lighten my weight. In fact, I think I'm definitely going to lighten my weight next time. All right. Lower body. Hands under your butt cheeks. That's going to support your lower back. We're going to do a crunch. Kick me out to the side. Crunch in. Other side. Here we go. Crunch it in. Kick it out. If you're just starting out, your kicks are high towards your ceiling. All those lower abs tight. You're advanced. They're low to the floor. And that's your advanced option or somewhere in between. For me, I'm going in between. It's been almost a year since my back surgery, but I still want to protect it. I don't 
don't know that I will ever be going to the floor. I guess I shouldn't say that, you never know. But I'm going to make sure that when I do, if I do, my body can handle it. All right, palms are facing each other. Back to this fly to overhead pull. Here we go. Take it out. Overhead. Bring it up. Palms face each other. Hips down. Out. Overhead. Pull. And down. Keep going. I do hear from some people about spinal surgery. If you are someone who is considering that, I'm certainly happy to hear your story. Obviously, I'm not going to do anything other than tell you mine and hear yours. Sometimes it's nice to speak to someone, though, that has been through that tough decision. And it is a tough decision to make. I get that. Let me know. And rest. Good. All right. Back to that lower crunch. Final strength move for the day. And we'll hit that cardio. So knees are up. Pick which area you want to kick to. Your ceiling, your wall, or towards your floor. I'm going with the wall. Controlling this move. Pulling my belly button to my spine, especially in that crunch. Right here, pull it tight and then hold it tight as the legs go out. This is 40 seconds, it's a tough one. I should feel a burn. options for you. If you are a beginner or you have back pain or strain, you're going to sit up straight and cross punch. More advanced and you don't have any back issues, bring the upper body back, keep the back straight and twist it out. This is cardio. We are doing all upper body here, so you've got to move. We don't touch your neck, right? Come on. It's a tough one. It doesn't look it right at the beginning. You start to feel any strain. Sit up like this. Find where you feel like you're getting Exercise, but you're not causing injury. And okay, are you ready to stretch? Bring it on down. Tough supersets there. Hands up over your head. Let your back come off your mat naturally. Take a deep breath. Exhale, go ahead and bring one knee, bend your knees, and bring one knee into your chest. Kick the leg up, stretching the back of the leg. Those deadlifts, or push the weight to the opposite foot. Hit those hamstrings pretty hard. Hamstrings, the upper part of your back of your leg. Go ahead and bring this knee in, bring the other leg flat, and bring this across. I love this because it's a full body move. You can reach away. Relax your shoulder and neck here. Let gravity pull. You'll find your hand gets closer and closer to the floor. And you're going to feel that stretch in your bicep, across the front of your shoulder, into your chest, while you're also getting that rotation and glute. And then we'll go to the other side, but first we're going to reach our hands over our head. I want you to think about the side of the body you just stretched. Doesn't it feel different than the one we're about to stretch now? A little bit of stretching. Bring the knee in is important. Foot up. If you can do more stretching, even better. We do not take enough time to stretch. You can always link in my stretch playlist at the end of the video. So if you have time to jump over and do anywhere from a 5 to 20 minute stretch, they're there for you. Knee and leg down, bring this leg across, reach away, let gravity work. I'm talking a lot about gravity in this workout. <laughs> Strength training is all about resistance, and gravity creates that resistance. Good. One more time, hands over your head, kick your legs out, flex your feet, feel the lower leg stretch. And bring it on over. 
Bend the knee, bring up the heel up to your bum, grab the foot if you can, or the back of the sock, back of the pant leg. If that's not possible, just bending the knee is going to elongate the front of the upper leg. That's what we're trying to do here. And switch sides. This is a quick little stretch. Better than not stretching. Longer stretches are available. All right, let's come on up. Hands and knees, I want you to round your back, round across your shoulder blades, drop your head, look at your knees. Flatten the back, bring your toes together, knees out as far as you can comfortably, hands high over your head. So you rock down into this child's pose. Stretching your back, inner thighs, you should feel that. You're going to make prayer hands, bring them behind your head. Find where your body weight's coming down on the back of your arms. Stretch out those dips. You hit everything today. All your muscle groups. Good. One more time, hands over your head. And walk it in. Come around, have a seat. Still a little bit on your neck. Lean your head ear to one shoulder. I hope you liked that workout. Please leave me comments. Tell me whether you liked it or didn't. Other side. Anything you want to talk about, I'm here for you. So comment away. Bring your head up. Drop it down. Look over one knee. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. It just tells YouTube you like the content. Let's look down. Other side. And it also brings all of the new videos onto your home screen. Look down and bring your head up. So when you open YouTube, you can see what is what has been done recently on the channel, and maybe you pick one and you do that workout, or you can go and jump to one that you've done a thumbs up and do one you've liked from the past. I hope to see you here next time. Have a great day.